Hello guys, what is up? I am Lee of one 2 one and welcome to episode 16 of my playthrough of Warrior Land 3 for the Game Boy of Color. Last time, I collected every single music coin on all the levels on the West Sector. In this episode, I'm now gonna finally head over to the South Sector, collect all of the music coins there. Oh, and by the way, you notice the Castle of Illusion in the background? That's the hype for more Warrior Land 3 when you're in the end of this playthrough. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content if you're new to this channel, and ring that bell to connect on and download on this channel. Last episode, which was the west side, a uh, west sector co the coins, the card up here. Anyways, time to showcase all the coins and the first level, which is the grasslands. I'm gonna be going from left to right as always, so I'm gonna start out with uh, this area where we got ourselves the green uh, chest earlier. We're gonna one. Two, three! I jump on that one. It's a little bit tricky to do that. No other coins below there, so let's just climb back up and take the exit. And our next coin is going to be below here, so stomp so we can avoid these guys from, well, stunning you uh, off the platform. And hold right to get ourselves our second coin. Our third coin is going to take us... Not to the boss, actually, because there's actually no coins there at the boss area. Instead, I want to go ahead into where we got the gray key. I believe it's just the second guy that needs to pull us up. So that we can get ourselves our third music coin. Pretty simple with that. Now, I believe every other coin should be out around this right side. So we're going to head up the vine to... Where we got the red chest. Head up a little further and break these blocks for our fourth music coin. Uh, fall down this vine and dislodge ourselves on this right side. And no worries, you don't need to do the golf game. All we need to do is break through these blocks to get ourselves the fifth music coin. And there's nothing else we can collect, so now let's get out of here. Because the rest of the coins are now going to be in the area where we got ourselves the blue chest. So I'm not going to care that I'm going to get hit right here. Then I'm going to high jump my way up here. And I need to check something. Yeah, I need, I need to turn into... Uh... That guy, you know what I mean. Well, let me get fed. Unintentional. There we go. Now... That's also yarn. Get a coin out of it. And then, this is where it gets very tr uh, gets a bit tricky. Watch this. Right after the gate, I can climb up to this left side without breaking the blocks to get ourselves another coin, but... I'm gonna grab an enemy... and throw him to the side. Because, if I jump up here, you can see there's a bit of leeway. High jump on this enemy, and voila! Secret hidden music coin up here. Be sneaky if I do say so myself. Take all these, uh, blocks. So that, uh, once, uh, I come in with the yarn, I can... Quickly get myself out of this place. So let me show you guys where the last music is. Because I make sure I can avoid all the monkeys with the uh, apples. Another way you can actually kill that guy, by the way, by just stomping right there. Fault. And there we go, I could just avoid the frog straight away. Go inside the door, and I need to break these blocks, like I said, we're grabbing the blue key. That looks perfect, and let's get hammered. That was actually a pretty efficient hit. And I'm gonna lean to the left side, time this perfectly, and... There's our last coin. So let's just get out of this phase.
But... Not like so that's annoying, right? <laughs> Anyways. Let's just turn ourselves back into... Oh, hello. Wait, did I... But that stop actually... Okay. Weird. But that stop actually uh, shook away the second caterpillar, but I did not um, dislodge any of the other caterpillars. Weird. Anyway, so now more than halfway to unlocking this new golf course. Onto the big bridge. And we're gonna start with... In this barrel to break through the uh, other side. Reveal a hidden coin behind it that's only accessible if we're able to break the block up here. Now we can go inside the door and grab ourselves another music coin via the uh, via the Mega Stomp. That's why I stop me. You can see that we can lower down these guys, so we can lower that down that guy. Get your ride and grab ourselves the second music coin. Also remember, I'm ignoring every single, um... E, because I don't need them anymore. Go against the current for our third music coin, or you can use a, a bubble to get up there. I do the strat... diagonal strat once again. Um, I think not. That's a current right here. Break this block, just in case. And just take more out afterwards, so just get bubbled. It stung as well, that was another key thing. And right here... I'm up here, and this is where it gets very sneaky. I need to start charging from this step, I would say, and you can see there's a block that we revealed. Maybe... here? There we go. Stop, so I can have more leeway, and then this is where a jump is very particular. There we go. There's another music coin. I would say that's a very tricky music coin to get if you're not great with the platforming and the charge timing. Because um, it's very hard to actually get up there, in my opinion. Now let's get out of there. See, there's already a music coin below us. Gonna note that for later. We actually don't need the barrel. Okay. Said. Uh, no, don't go that way. Let's swim all the way to the left, so that we can get another music coin. Okay, some sort of swim, Wario. Why can't you swim faster, um, in Super Mario 64? Anyways. Um, I'm actually not going to... Nah, I'll take this, uh, bomb part first. By the door, and I think there's like three music coins in this uh, one right here. Over here, I'm gonna exploit something. I'm gonna go backwards instead in a certain section, like this, to get ourselves the first one, and climb myself all the way to the top. Crouch, get ourselves another music coin, and I think there should be one more. Believe or not, it's not. Oh no, never mind. One more outside of this area. I can tell because uh, we're only have one left, and I know where that particular coin is gonna be. It's gonna be where that green key was. So, level to the right side. Stop once again and. Kill the enemy like that. Hit your right once again. Charge, and... Voila! There's our last music coin of the big bridge. Oh, of course I got stung by the fish. I believe this will be the last time we see these fish um, in this uh, game. There we go. Oh boy, why is that part of the golf course red? Off to the next stage, the Tower Revival. And of course, for the final time in this uh, game, well, actually, not really the final time, as you'll see later, we're landing out all these torches first. 
Because of course there are no music coins sitting around here. That'd be ridiculous if they are were that lazy. Over the ladder, get through the door and the uh, sorry the platform. And the first place I want to check for music coins is the blue eye door. I think there are a few there around here. So let me just climb up here. Go to the pipe. Ignore zombies for now. You see here without hitting a switch, there's already a music coin that we can collect. No, no barrel no barrel. No, no not for me, please. Oh, I didn't want that. I think we'll still be able to do it. There's a second music coin. Make sure all that, and then we need to catch ourselves on fire. Like I said, we're getting the red chest. Basically how you would normally get the red chest in this case. Time your jumps well, so you can delay the f us getting catching fire fully. And then we can break all these blocks. Is that boy sneezing to get rid of the ashes? I'm not even sure, honestly. Ignore getting zombified. As you see that the zombie head actually moves faster than us. And there's our next music coin. That puts us at 3 before we explore anywhere else. And I believe that should be the number for this particular area, so we can exit out here now. Now we need to just go around this area. Good thing that the block is, doesn't just, uh, reappear. That would be kind of bad level uh, design. I'd say game design if that was the case. And we need to head down here and access to access the rest of the tower. And I think the first area I will explore is this outside area, which had the gray key for us. Let's get stung. And really, it's all about just keeping the left, not much else. Don't get hit by the sparkies that are coming our way, like this one. There's another music coin. Uh oh. That's fine because I do want to showcase. Blocks are here that can be crushed if you have the Mega Stomp available to you. So that's music coin number four. Then music coin number five actually requires us to get fed, so if you can, Mr. Frog. Bit of a glitch right there. You already break the block, even though we don't have the ability. Uh, us. And then using our garlic powers, break through these blocks to get ourselves another music coin. And we need to jump up here to get ourselves another one. Another one. That should put us at six before we enter this door. I believe the last two should be in this uh, room. Surprised if, they, if they're not. Don't get stomped. I do want to climb all the way first, actually. Ah, of course. Because I want to showcase that. Uh, oh yeah, we need... I almost forgot we need to get crushed here. Go! Up here... We actually need new rounds, so I need to keep you alive for now.
See, there's a music coin with the caterpillar that's up there. So, we need to get here. Go! And make sure I don't get hit right there. Grab ourselves another coin, and let's get out of here. So, we're at 7 out of 8 now. So, we're down to 1. And I believe the last one's located... ...on the way down, actually. There we go! That's 8 out of 8! Let's get out of here. Uh oh. Oh, that's embarrassing. There we go. Exit out the normal way. The fastest way to get down the Tower Revival. Right there. Get out of here. And let's just hop into where the great chest was to exit out the level. And there you go. Only 10 stages left. Oh, they were racing through these, so it's quite cool. Now, for this next stage of Steep Canyon, um, you actually don't need to be night or day because uh, the owls will be of the regular uh, will be of reachable height, no matter how, uh, no matter the, day, the the time of day, I should say. So you don't have to worry about that. So the first way I want to go to is where the red and green keys were. First coin is all about jumping at the right time. To the what's the left. And right here, this should be, I believe... Oh, let me do the map. I think this should be four? I didn't mean that. Uh, four coins available in this area. First one up here by just getting stung. Second area. Then we need to make our way to where the green chest is. Get through these spiky platforms with a nice simple stomp. There's our second one. Hit your right on the owl. Right to the left, that's our third coin in this area. And right here, there's the last one of this area. Now we need to get out of here. My recommendation, honestly, take the uh, key path, because honestly it's the faster path and the more easier path to... Um, to get through without having too much trouble. So that puts us at 5. Next thing I want to do is get out of here. Then I need to swim all the way... ...up here. And... I want to head to the left side. So I'm not doing this just because I need to roll into it, but I need to head to the left side quick. So that I can roll backwards. With the frog, jump, jump, jump. Voila! Coin number six. Now, I need to fall to where we got ourselves the blue chest. And we need to do this section again, lighting up the torches. That's why I said just now that that's not the last time that we're gonna lighting up torches, as I realized I made a mistake. I'll probably tell what the mistake I made. Although, I can quickly kill this enemy. There we go. And now we do this. Uh, I'll recommend starting from the left side, though. I can just quickly light up this torch. Jump so you can hit that wall, and then... go. Oh, of course. As you can tell, the torches have very weird hitboxes at times. And there we go. We 
one forward to where that minigame is. And surprise, surprise, yes, you have to do it. Breaking through here, however, reveals us the seventh music coin. And let's see what golf uh, hole we have today. Ah, simple. Told you, simple. Uh, we've experienced those mini games a, a lot easier. I thought you get a bit lucky, honestly. And now, let's roll. Right through that. Jump up here. And time to jump right here, and do not press any button. Voila! The final music coin off the steep canyon. This was also not one of those levels which I struggled to find all the coins in. The coin that I missed, the one that uh, bottom right of the mini game uh, door. Up next, the Cave of Flames. This was another level which I actually struggled to get all the coins in. All the coins was honestly very tricky to get. Around the gate, I'm gonna mess around with some uh, bears. Yeah, I'll first coin down that hole. Right down the hole! Right here, I'm gonna have some fun uh, carrying enemies up here as I actually let go of the up button. Oh, I did the stomp straight away, I didn't. And no, you don't actually need to get fed. Just fall down here, get ourselves our second music coin. And exit out of the area. There's not much else to here. Alright, now to fall down here and showcase I need that bird from that right side. Face me so that I can high jump of it to get ourselves the third music coin. And then the next thing I want to do is actually very sneak. I want to fall down here. And this is where I need to get a very nice jump. Otherwise, okay, I catch on fire. There we go. This door was actually the reason why I couldn't get all the coins here. I did not know that that door existed. I didn't know there was some blocks there. And what we're supposed to do is... Right through here, and ask that guy to kindly hammer you up here. So you can break this block. And then... Make your way to the left side so we can jump up here quickly. Experience some annoying sounds. Slide yourself into that hole, and there's our coin. And that was a coin I always miss every time I played this uh, stage. When I first tried to 100% the game. Um, I don't think you need to catch yourself on fire for any coins. Yeah, you don't need to. Yeah, pretty sure you don't need to. Now... Go through this pipe and get ourselves, I think... Was it two coins? No, it was one. One on here. For another coin, and I think it should be in the coin department. I believe so, let me check. Five out eight. Sounds about right, actually. So let's go down the pipe. And head over to where we got the, the uh, green chest, I believe. And this is where... It's gonna get very annoying. I did this pra uh, practice off-screen. And let's just say I didn't have a fun time doing this. Because there was going to be a lot of carrying, a lot of uh, enemy bouncing. I think it's not ball bouncing, otherwise it would be very awkward. Ah, uh, in point, by the way. Have such thing, such thing as that happening. Remember, if you hit it, uh, two enemies together, it's uh, GG, you have to restart the whole room. Carry that enemy up there. Jump. Jump. Right here. Doggone oh, it. <sighs> Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. As you can see, every time you fall down with when you don't want to fall down, it's gonna be an ordeal to get back up. Oh, 
Although, when you're experienced with it, pretty is that easy. What I want to do is bring one of those enemies down, although I think that's a bit off, actually. There we go. Now, break through this, but also break through this one layer of blocks, which have the symbols on it, they are hidden. It also has another music coin. And now, I need to go to this door, and I'm pretty sure I showcased this door during the first time we were in this area. Yeah, have fun with four enemies, getting them upwards so that you can get yourselves a music coin. That's the challenge. And remember, if you kill one of them, you have to restart. Oh, and then you fall, it also could be an ordeal. However, this is actually be as bad. Because I can easily recover myself back up right there. There we go. And jump and jump. Voila! Coin number seven. Also, you might notice there was an indent on the top right. There is nothing there. I can confirm to you that. And now we need to do this thing one more time. As I completely destroy that robot. I'm sure this level is a, like a speedrun nightmare because of how ordeal-ish it is. Play. Come on. Uh, dude, can you please not? There we go, and one more. There we go. So now, we need to make sure we can bring an enemy over to the left side. Talk on it. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go. High jump, and then head to the right side. Fall down here. Do your normal procedure as though you're collecting the... Unlocking the blue chest. And there's the last music coin up there. I actually do want to get flattened. Because at least they'll allow me to get themselves to where the blue chest was. And get out of here. And just to confirm with you guys, yes, that is all eight coins. And run over these holes once again, and voila! As you can tell, that one, that level might, this level might be a little bit of a problem. I cut all the coins because you need to be very good with the high jump. And last but not least, above the clouds. And I'll just say this right now, you don't need to worry about day or night. There are no coins located in the moon temple at the very tippy top of the stage. So you don't have to worry about that. First coins, of course, on the left side. And good news, actually don't need to do the mini game at all either. So you don't have to worry about that either. Let's have it out here. See me being very rushed with this. Go to where we got the gray key, and right here you want to be very careful. I'm gonna charge over to the left side to get ourselves the second coin. And this is where it gets a little bit annoying. We need to jump ourselves up there, that which uh, was clearly not what I did. Avoid all these guys. And just when we thought the first climb was a not Seriously! Uh. There's one thing that's annoying about this game, I'll admit, is the fact that these enemies respawn so quickly. Actually, wait a minute. Can I chase them? I can! Well, okay, now I'm glad that that guy stopped me down so I can showcase you can cheese that uh, coin without needing to fall down again. Because you can see, 
what he intended for you to do is just fall down that hole so you can get that coin, but turns out you don't need to do that. And I overshot that. I'll fall down again, and let's get out of here. That's three coins already in our position. Those birds don't hurt ya. Last time we're gonna go through this Mega Man-ish level. Let's high jump up here. How much else to say uh, with this platforming? Very simple. Um, I believe there's nothing much you can do. What was I thinking? Hang on. I'm trying to remember where there was any coins uh, on the other doorway, but I don't think. Oh, this coin in particular is quite tricky. You need to stop so you can stun these enemies, and then a very well timed uh, jump right there is gonna take you up there. That's four out of eight, I believe. Uh, let me do the match real quick. I think I I should have five at this point. I think. Hopefully, I'm correct. Well, let's head over to this right side where we have these uh, a slurry of uh, platforms. Doggone it. Ugh. As you can tell, if you make one mistake, sometimes you can get unlucky and fall all the way down the level. Char I can think I can charge up to this uh, cloud right there, but I didn't want to risk it. So you saw right there, there was a coin down there. We're gonna ignore that for now. And reveal that, yes, I, will ha I had my match correct for this whole time. I was like, yeah, myself the first coin. And turn myself into a zombie. And completely ignore these birds. And, um, let's just say this is one of those coins which is more irritating than difficult. What you're supposed to do is drag this zombie all the way to the right and follow the birds. You see where this is going, uh, don't ya? Pull that frog. Drop down here. And take in the moonlight. And now this is where it gets even more irritating. Avoid all these birds. As much as you can. And there's our next coin. Remember that on the right side was where the green key was. Break through these blocks, and there's our next coin. Which puts us at 7 out of 8. And, you probably can tell where the last one is. Given the fact that we saw one outside. Well, it's a good smart level des uh, game design where it says you don't have to worry about the, uh... Oh. Seriously? I... Uh... Oh. Didn't want to risk that. But yeah, you can see right there, at least they, uh, they didn't expect you to be of a sudden... Uh, to be of a sudden time of day in order to get all the coins. Which I appreciate. And there we go, there's the last coin! So let's just fall all the way down through here. And go through the door. That's 8 out of 8. We're done. As I said, mostly annoying than anything. The, the coin location is not hard, it's just hard to read. And with that, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this episode. Next time, Oreo Land 3. East Sector awaits. 7 stages. 56 music coins 
and one more episode to finally 100% this game, or at least get to the final step, was at 100%. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. But remember, the adrenaline rush is real. It is the episode one you want signing out. I'll catch you guys in episode 17 of my playthrough of Warrior Land 3. Peace. <laughs>